big pimping shot right here. You want be Ooh, man, you saw that shit? Look at that shit. Okay, children, our first lesson for the day is how to beat up. My responsibility is now to do everything. Well, I'm gonna keep it real. Okay, yeah, please do. There's a show we keep it real. I mean, in the top ten, just holding, holding a position down strong, stronger than it's ever been. And I say for the hip hop purists who look down on that, say like, you know, these guys, they commercial, they doing this to hip hop, you know. All that, all that's doing is bringing the media to look at hip hop. You know, the more educated the consumer become, the more they're gonna know that this is the purest. This is what I want. From the swarms of fans gathered at Jay-Z's record signing, it's easy to see why they call him the king of New York. His new album, Volume 2, Hard Knock Life, debuted on Billboard's pop chart at number one. And on Billboard's R&B single chart, he's got three singles in the top 30. In 1990, Jay-Z stepped on the hip-hop scene with big jazz and original flavor. But disenchanted with the corporate politics of a major label, he set out on his own, forming Rockefeller Records with manager Damon Dash. Like I would take Jay's demo to the, every record company and tell every label, you know, and they would say they have so many different opinions, like, this isn't street enough, or it should be this, it should be that, maybe we shouldn't work with Clark Kent, all kinds of stuff. And I couldn't understand how they could tell me how, how Jay should paint this picture of the lifestyle that he was living. So that's when we were like, yo, let's just do this ourselves. First we put out Dead President. We didn't think that would get accepted to the radio. We had a mean B-side. You know, which was ain't no nigga. I mean, we just held on to that record. And we learned a lot about the business from that record right there because it opened up everything for us. You know, and we had bargaining. We had a little bargaining power there. Ain't no like the one I got. No one can you better. I will. Lack of knowledge for the business was made up because we had a hit record. You know what I mean? Like the hit record just it, it helps you out. You know what I mean? You just it makes you smarter than you really are. So then after that, the ain't no. We put out reasonable doubt. Then we left the whole priority thing and we came over Def Jam joint venture now we all set up right now now we set up to, to operate like businessmen who's the best mcs biggie jay-z and all as a native new yorker jay-z shares his rhyming roots with fellow brooklynite and friend the late notorious big but since his death fans have labeled jay-z new york's finest we asked him if the comparisons to biggie turned up the heat on him i say with the last album it was more of a um it was more of an issue because you know it was like you know if that had just occurred and everything and you know everybody was still you know going through the whole whirlwind of it but with this album uh I ain't feel the pressure, though, just for the whole album. I was just in a uh, way I was on top of my game creatively. After the auspicious debut of Reasonable Doubts, Jigga followed the platinum selling In My Lifetime, volume number one. The first single from the disc was Sunshine, featuring Foxy Brown and producer extraordinaire Babyface. In volume one, we took it from, you know I mean, being in the street to dealing with the music business and dealing with those pressures. I would just go in the studio and just put it down and just be like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mix it. Send it to me when it's finished, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm staying a little longer, more in control of, of everything, not just rapping, but the music and the whole overall project. For his new album, Jay-Z teamed up with Jermaine Dupri and produced one of this summer's biggest hits, Money Ain't a Thing. But how do you follow up a smash like that? The 
new album was Hard Knock Life, Life 2, that's the 360. You know, after we did the um, song Hard Knock Life, I was like, that would be just, that's so appropriate for the whole album. You know what I mean? Because we definitely took it back 360. I, I'm just like, my whole thing is, is uh, have confidence in yourself. You know what I mean, if you're going to take a chance on anything, you got to take a chance on yourself. Have that confidence, you know what I mean, to, to take a chance and, you know what I mean, not be afraid to fail. You know, that's the only way you're going to get anything accomplished. Give it up, gonna be all right. 